Hi everyone, it's Laura Burns, and in this video we will go over initializing your Lightroom catalog, and this is the first step you have to take in order to use Xire with your Lightroom catalog. And the first step you want to take is clicking File, and then click Plugin Manager. Then under Settings, you can check which initialization option is selected, and you can adjust the options depending on what you need. Most of you should select the Fast Initialization option. If, however, you have heavily edited the photos, for example, drastically altering the colors or cropping the image to the point that it barely resembles the original, then you would not want to choose Fast Initialization. But if that is not the case and you have only edited the image a normal amount, so to say, then fast initialization will work great and you can leave it on the default option. So my second point is that you can additionally select smart previews, which is something that you can install in your Lightroom. You can also use it in order to carry out the initialization of Xire. That is worthwhile for speed and performance if you have a catalog with smart previews on an SSD. Otherwise, if that is not the case, then the Smart Preview initialization doesn't really bring about much performance enhancement. If you have kind of a mix of photos in your catalog, so for example, one part of your catalog is installed as Smart Previews on an SSD, and one part is not, that is not a problem. Xire recognizes immediately whether it's a Smart Preview of the original photo or not, and then can basically see what is available. One important note, if you are working with removable drives like a USB drive that you have connected to your computer, or for example with regular drives, then you should definitely ensure that before you begin with initializing your catalog that the drives are connected because we want the photos to be available. Otherwise, Xire might not be able to find the images that should be available in your catalog but are not currently because the removable drive is not there. If you are working a lot with image stacks in Lightroom, then you can select this option to direct Xire to only initialize the first photo of the stack. If you have a lot of stacked photos, this can speed up the initialization process by quite a bit. And the last point, here you can choose which language the program will be in. In this latest version, the language will default to English or German. But if you have another version, like the standalone version, then I recommend choosing the language you want. For this tutorial, and probably for you, I will select English, but there is also a German version available. So to summarize, in most cases you can use the default option, which is fast initialization. If you work with smart previews a lot, and especially if you use an SSD, then you can select the second option. So I have done everything to prepare for initialization. That was the first point. And the next step, naturally, is to begin the initialization of the photos in your Lightroom catalog. And you can do that under Library, and then you go to Plugin Extras. And here we have all the different ways you can search with Xire, which we will go over in the other tutorials. But down here is also the Initialize Photos option. Additionally, there is the Update Photos option for when you have altered some of your photos considerably. So for example, I would choose this option if I cropped a photo to the point where it fundamentally changes what the photo is of, or if I drastically altered the color in the photo, it would make sense to update it. If you want, you can choose to update the whole catalog because Xire can find the images in your catalog that have been altered and will just update those. But going back to initializing your photos, it is a pretty clear and simple process because basically we already took care of the initialization settings. You can choose if you want to either initialize your whole catalog 
of course, if you're using XIR for the first time, then select this. Or you can choose to just initialize a film strip. And that is the selection of images that you see here at the bottom. It could be a certain collection of photos or the selection of photos in a folder on your computer. But again, if it's the first time you're using XIR, then you should definitely select whole catalog. Otherwise, as you can see here, when you have already initialized photos and you have added new photos through import to Lightroom, Exire automatically recognizes how many photos you have already initialized and how many photos have not. And you can also choose if you want to use the maximum CPU load during an initialization. If you choose it, then naturally initialization will go much quicker. Otherwise, you can, of course, initialize your photos without selecting this option, say if you have something running in the background, and XIR will run at a slower pace. So now I'm going to talk about some background information about initialization, and then, of course, show you the process. Basically, you can estimate that XIR will initialize up to 10,000 photos an hour. If you have a really big, like a really substantial catalog, it can last for longer. And in that case, I would suggest to begin the process right before you go to bed so that it can work through the night and when you wake up, your entire catalog will be initialized. This will probably be the case only once when you are initializing your catalog in Exire for the first time. When you are just adding new photos, then it will be a pretty straightforward process and initialization will go relatively quickly. How quickly the process goes on your computer depends on a lot of different things, from the variations in connection with your hardware and a few other conditions, also how you set up Exire. Uh, do you have smart previews turned on? And if you're using an SSD, like I mentioned earlier, because that will also speed up the initialization. Also very important, it makes no difference if you initialize with the original photo or with the smart previews. The quality of the results in Exire will always be the same. A window will pop up asking for confirmation and it will show you how many photos are about to be initialized. Next, it recommends to plug in your external drive if that is where you are storing your photos. That is how Exire finds your photos, of course. You can also abort the initialization process, um, so it might be taking too long or whatever the case may be. You can click the X in the top left hand side here to stop the process. When you want to continue, Exire will start initializing from where you left off. So if you are halfway through initializing a large collection and something happens and you need to stop, don't worry. Exire won't start over at the beginning. It will pick up in the middle where you left off. I'm going to click OK and now we wait. When it's finished, we will continue. When Exire has completed initializing your entire catalog or the photos that you selected, this window will appear saying it is done. And in my case, it initialized 6,435 photos. And now these photos are available for use in Exire. So Exire has analyzed these photos and based on their contents and their characteristics has assigned keywords and also assigned precise qualities of the photos that you can subsequently use in order to search through your entire Lightroom catalog. All of the information that Exire has created during the initialization can be found totally on your computer. Again, you don't need to be connected to the internet in order for Exire to carry out its analysis or in order to provide results. And here I've just opened my Lightroom catalog again. Uh, in this field is where my Lightroom catalog is, and it's here as exire.lcat. And here is also all the data that Exire has collected. So a data bank that is titled XCAT. This is where all of the information that Exire needs in order to perform its function in the future is located. And so it's all locally on your computer.
And these search functions are, let me close this and click OK. These search functions are here under the library tab and then under plugin extras. Here we can see which options you will have in the future to search through your catalog. So for example, you can search by example photo. You can also search by external example photo in order to find similar photos that are not in your Lightroom catalog. You can search by keyword. You can search by facial recognition. You can also transfer the keywords that Exire has assigned to your photos during the analysis process to your Lightroom catalog as well, and then use them for the Lightroom-based keywords. There will be a separate tutorial for each of the search functions.